about two years ago, I began having regular massages. At first, I was reticent. I had had many body rubs, and they struck me as a waste of time and money. I understood the physiological concepts behind massage as a health maintenance tool, but I needed a massage therapist who understood them as well. Elir Ameri turned out to be that therapist. Together, we created a massage session that went beyond even my own expectations. What we ended up with was a program that incorporates elements of deep tissue, sports massage, and Thai stretching massage. One more. Down. One more. And down. That's why you just shot the cover. A photo micrograph of a longitudinal section of smooth muscle tissue reveals the individual fibers. The white areas are indicative of intramuscular stored fat. Elir uses his fingers, his fists, and his elbows to try and separate the individual muscle fibers from one another. Doing this increases blood flow to the cells themselves, while at the same time liquefying stored fat. And finger from that simple ridge. You can have really good release of tension on the rhomboids on the back, upper back. You do see the body in three dimension, the way they load, help, or antagonize each other. The previous panel indicates the muscles associated with the shoulder area. One thing is very important to know that the muscles that we move on the fingers, like each your muscle you move your fingers, are originated on your forearm. So if I can just have Dave Take his hand like a fist, and I locate his muscles, and I tell him, can you open your hand? He can't. Why? Because I already located his muscles. 
So for the people that are really in the computer all day, definitely need to work on that forearm muscles. Sound good. Flexion. Horizontal abduction, horizontal adduction. And here, if I go in this position, I'm going to strip the rhomboid area by bringing the shoulder blade away from the spine and stretching that area, going on top of the stretch. It just goes to your lower back by bringing the shoulder up and holding the hip down. While compression techniques are used to eliminate fats, stretching increases flexibility, metabolizes intramuscular glucose, and helps prevent injury. And now because of the tibia, we internally rotate the foot and we focus into anterior tibialis. Peronius longus. Group, I use both hands, one on top of each other, to put more pressure in the quad area. Go diagonal by going to the sartorius, which is considered the longest muscle in the body. Definitely good loose fist. Work lateral a little bit on the IT band. Just get too tight. Especially in our case like Dave, which is a good runner. Muscles of the leg are iliopsis, obturator extremus, first adductor group, adductor longus and brevis, pectineus, second adductor group, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, gracilis, third adductor group, adductor longus, adductor hiatus, first vastus group, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, and vastus medius, the illotibial tract, the rectus femoris, the gluteus medius, the sartorius, the tensor fascia lata, and the alocius. As you can see, there are a great deal of muscles in the human leg. Each of these receives attention during the session. In this movement, Alir stretches my leg to the maximum range of motion has me push against him with 10% of my strength for 10 seconds and then will continue to stretch me further. Each of the leg muscles is stretched in all the possible directions and to its fullest possible range of motion.
two techniques are used to stretch the lower back. A full bend at the hips and a torquing technique. All the lower torso muscles are stretched in all directions. Knee and now, I said there can just bring your arms up. And our goal is to focus on stretch on the lower back area. When we started this one, it was like almost like 10 inches from the nose. Now as you see, they already can touch the nose. Our goal is to bring the foot behind the neck. Yes, Dave? Good. Yep. From here, just twist and again just do another stretch. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Can we increase the stretch one more time? And out. Okay. Relax. You have seen the first half of the session. All techniques are repeated three times on both sides of the body. The process is the same for the back. The total session is one hour long. The techniques almost are the same in the face out position. All the anterior part of the legs, also posterior parts, they have the same. Some new techniques you're going to have here is based on uh, stretching the gastronavis and soleus and stripping them, and also the hamstrings. For the bottom of the foot, we already did a little bit of work on the front, but I really like to do a little bit of circles, and the best thing is the loose fist, where we just put more pressure. The palms and soles of the feet contain a vast number of nerve endings. These have long been considered as pressure points. A good deal of attention is paid to them. This work requires a great deal of physical strength as well as knowledge on the part of the therapist. Alir, as you can see, is a large and powerful man. This essential work burns calories, metabolizes fats and glucose, and increases strength. Nonetheless, it is extremely painful. I use breathing techniques to mitigate that pain. Of course, some would consider what I have done to be extreme. Work with your massage therapist to find out what works best for you.